Yo, what's good, Team Irish Dragon? Welcome back in. Today, I am playing the stealth Pokemon Dragapult, and I am running Phantom Force and Shadow Ball. This build got a bit of a buff recently, and I've been seeing a lot of Dragapult around and hearing a lot of people talk about it, so I figured it was time to check it out for myself. My items for this match are Muscle Band, Scope Lens, Rapid Fire Scarf with the X Attack, and Brown and White Emblems to maximize Dragapult's attack damage and give it some more HP. So if you enjoy the rest of this gameplay, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep living the dream. So Dragapult feels pretty good. I'm not sure what the Eldegoss was doing rotating top, but the gank went well. We'll figure all that stuff out later. Now I'm just going to get my jungle farm and set up for the middle Altaria camp. A bit of an unfortunate altercation with Mimikyu there, but it's all good. I'm going to head bot to help out, but I see they might need me middle. Let's go, let's go, let's go! With that lucky push to their tier 2 and the comfy on me now, we're gonna head bottom and try to get a free bottom Reggie. So most of their team did go to defend that Regilecki. We dealt with the two that were bottom. We've got the bottom ready. Now I'm just going to get my jungle, head top, and try to engage in some more team fights. Where's the Penta? Where's the Penta? There it is. Alright, let's not mess this one up, guys.
I get 15 this match. You pushing? All right. I'm here for it, I guess. We're not fighting him. Get my buffs. Just get farm, play safe. We got this. So we're way ahead and I am too big to get caught out for a KO and be out for Ray and give him a bunch of experience, but it looks like my team wants to spread your like and it sounds like a good idea. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Let's go. God, he's super low. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Let's rip. Let's go score. Yeah. Man, let's go. Let's go, Dragapult. You win. Dang. Sheesh, that's it. I, on 20 KOs, I only did 105K. Man, I should have done way better, guys. I only did almost half our team's damage. Ah, well. I'll do better next time, guys. GG, everybody. So Dragapult does feel really good after the buffs, which I think are totally justified. Let me know in the comments how you feel about him, if you think he's in a good spot now, if he's, you know, overtuned and a little broken. Let me know how you feel. I think that he's in a good spot, and with the exception of a few usually gold ribbon Dragapults I've played against before the buffs that made him seem really, really good, it didn't seem like Dragapult did that much. And yes, I do enjoy the dance better. I think it's more fun with the resets and the mobility, and you're not just pressing A, though you are just pressing one move, and then it's basically doing the same thing. But I'm just not really an A presser style uh, player in this game. I prefer, if I'm going to be playing an attacker, it's going to be a ranged attacker like Decidueye or Gardevoir or Chandelure. But I really enjoy playing tank, just in your face, those Trevenants, slow bros, mammoth swines that get in there and just zone and peel for for the Dragapults. And I know a lot of people thought or have been saying that Dragapult is the next Mewtwo Y. They've done it again. They've they've ruined the game with this buff. But I don't think so. Mewtwo Y could walk into a team of five people and A press them all down. Dragapult can do a lot of damage to a lot of Pokemon, but without a decent front line, you can get to Dragapult sometimes. He does turn invisible, and you're not always sure where he's going to pop up, and he can sneak up behind you and then wipe your whole team. But if you can get to Dragapult, you can kind of outplay or at least have some, some counterplay to Dragapult, unlike Mewtwo Y. So I don't think it's quite that bad. I, like I said, I think Dragapult's in a good spot. I think he deserved this because he's been in a bad spot for too long. But again, let me know what you guys think about Dragapult in the comments. I look forward to reading what you guys think and your opinions. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep living the dream.